is Tom Dillon, the Lifetime Liberal, and today is Monday, February 20th, 2017. Uh, the title of this rant, uh, Unmanageability and Dysfunctionality Continue to Increase at the White House. Uh, so the example is when things aren't going very well, uh, you make an assessment, uh, you change your plans, change your policy, change your tactics, change your strategy, you move on, and you continue to assess that as, as, as things go along. But what is happening in this White House, uh, the emperor has no clothes. Uh, the White House is a well-oiled machine. Everything is going great. And uh, don't, <laughs> don't ever, ever criticize us because we will get back to you uh, if you do that. So just a couple takes from last week. I see the thread here of a very ominous sign of things going on in the White House. Uh, number one, uh, Mr. Minority's popularity is very far down. He did cite a Rasmussen poll in his... Um, uh, his press conference last week, uh, that was an outlier. The Gallup poll basically showed 56% disapproved, 39% approved. Uh, of those who strongly disapprove, that's 46%. Those who strongly approve of Mr. Minority, 29%. The only category where he was ahead uh, in terms of approval over disapproval in that Gallup poll was with whites, and it was only 40 to 39%. People of color, <laughs> you know, but another ominous sign. Uh, yes, Democrats, people of color, but also independents have a higher disapproval rating of Mr. Minority. Uh, you know, again, uh, you want to get reelected? You want your policies to be enacted? Uh, you need to have the bully pulpit, the popularity that people are along with you. Of course, he does have a very strong base, but that base is very, base is very, very small. Now, um, but what happened last week that where he had some chances to increase his base, let's just say, so to speak, he had three opportunities to denounce anti-Semitism, uh, one uh, uh, with Netanyahu, uh, one in, uh, uh, at his press conference, and I can't remember the other one. He refused to do that. And of course, uh, the uh, white separatists, the white supremacists in the United States are basically saying, he's our man, we're following him. We like what he has to say, and it's spilled over with a lot of anti-Semitism. Uh, he also, uh, Mr. Minority also uh, tried to, how would you want to say, label that all black people are the same, that they all know each other, uh, when the reporter asked whether or not he'd meet with this uh, uh, Congressional Black Caucus, and she used the acronym, which he didn't understand, which sort of implies he doesn't even know what it is, and then had tried to have her set up the meeting, which kind of implies that he's referencing the fact that because she's black and the Congressional Black Caucus is black, that she can set up the meeting because they all know each other. And I think one of the uh, black representatives from the CDC, uh, uh, Congressional Black Caucus, <laughs> joked about that. Another ominous sign that happened last week, Jared Kushner, according to the Wall Street Journal, went to the parent company of CNN, which is Time Warner, to complain about two correspondents for CNN, uh, one, one conservative, one liberal, but both were people of color because both of them were bitching about Trump. <laughs> uh, another ominous sign was two weeks ago when Rex Tillerson came in, uh, he hired a half dozen people of the top people in the State Department, just got rid of them. They were there one day, they were gone the next. I think they had, you know, 40 years each, 30 years each, 25 years plus each in the State Department, all gone. Uh, then last week, two major departments were completely, uh, you know, gone. And, you know, this is coming from someone uh, who has no experience in government and no experience with diplomacy. He does have international business experience, which is good. But at the same time, uh, uh, making deals to help the United States uh, all over the world, you and you need uh, experience. Uh, so that's a very ominous sign because it's basically saying, we're going to do it our way. We don't need any help. We got it covered. So, you know, that again, an ominous sign. Now, a guy named General Harward uh, basically said, I don't want to be uh, the national security advisor after Flynn got out. Apparently, General Petraeus 
uh, also said no thank you to that position. Harwood's position basically was, I got to spend time with my family, but the real reason was he wanted to come in, he wanted to appoint his staff so that they would, because all of them had experience, all of them had dealt with all the other agencies, they had tremendous experience in the intelligence area, in the military, they could draw upon their experience to help him give the best information to the president possible. Uh, the White House said, no, you go with the people that we have at the NSA, uh, National Security Advisor Department. He said no. And of course, one of those is KT McFarlane, who seems to have only been appointed because she was on Fox News quite a bit. She did have a very limited experience when she was much, much younger in the Reagan uh, White House uh, in terms of uh, a government position. So don't know where all that's coming from. Just two other quick things or so. Uh, six uh, lower level employees in the White House were walked out last week because they all failed a background security check. They, were, they came in in the morning, before the night was out, their stuff was gone and they were out of there. Uh, there's also a little bit of a talk about, is there a mole in the White House going through channel after channel after channel after channel to get to Russia? Is there? Uh, because we're seeing some stuff from the New York Times indicating that uh, uh, there's some stuff going on where they want to get rid of the current uh, government in the Ukraine to put their puppet government in that's behind Putin so that they can have a ceasefire so that Putin can continue to take the Crimea, can take that portion of Ukraine. Uh, I think there's some industries in there that he wants. Uh, and uh, that's supposedly uh, being offered to Mr. Minority to help get this ball rolling. So some very, very ominous things went on last week. Uh, and uh, let's just say from an old, uh, let's see, which was it was, Stephen Stills song or Crosby, Stills and Nash? Oh, no. Uh, uh, I can't remember their name right now. Uh, but <laughs> there's something happening here. Uh, what it is ain't exactly clear. And uh, more will be revealed.